Thank you for joining me on this Canary Coaching Session for Axiom Application Design Shortcuts. My name is Jeff Nepper, and I look forward to walking you through some how-tos and best practices for streamlining and speeding up your Axiom application designs. Today we're going to cover a number of features that have been built into Axiom. I'll be showing you version 21.3. Most of these features came into version 21.2 of Axiom, and they include the undo or redo feature, a copy and paste, moving controls to dedicated snap points on the dashboard, uh, resizing with those same snap points, a multi-select tool, how to align vertically and horizontally, as well as how to just justify uh, from top to bottom as well as left to right. So uh, without further ado, let's get started and we'll just go through each of these controls or each of these features um, one at a time. So on my Axiom application, I've gone ahead and loaded on two labels and a donut gauge. Uh, the first thing I would like to show you is just the undo or redo feature. And so here at the top, I have an undo and a redo. And when I hover over that, I can see that uh, there is a shortcut with either control Z or control Y. So if I wanted to uh, delete that donut gauge, I could undo that delete. Or if I wanted to delete maybe everything, again, I can undo that delete. So that is my control Z or my control Y to redo the change. Additionally, I can do a copy and paste. There's a couple of ways I can do this. The shortcut is just to hit control V on my keyboard. But I can also select my items and come down here to the bottom right and duplicate my selected controls. If I'd like to move my controls uh, or move a control, I can do so by selecting that control. As you can see, I've expanded the properties here on the left hand side. And I can simply use my arrow key to move the control one pixel at a time. You can see the Y coordinate is changing one pixel at a time. Additionally, if I hold my control key, I will move that to what we call our snap points. And so every six pixels, um, a canary control will automatically snap. And that's what you feel when you are moving it with the cursor. You'll see it changing in six pixel increments. Holding the control key, allows me to snap to those six pixel increments as well. Now, additionally, using the shift key, I can change the width or the height, depending on the control, by holding shift and width is right or left arrow, and you can see the width control changing. And again, it's in increments of six. And same thing here, uh, we'll see with the height increments of six using the up or down arrow keys. Now that's how I would move or resize a single control. But what if I wanted to select multiple controls? Well, if I hold the control button, I can individually click and select multiple controls. Now, once I've done this, again, I can use a single arrow to move one pixel at a time, or I can hold the control key to move them at six pixel snaps. Additionally, if I wanted to resize multiple controls simultaneously, I could hold the shift key and resize those controls at the same time. Now, a faster way to multi-select is to use the control key in the mouse. So by holding control and then doing a left click and drag, I can create a multi-select box and anything that the box touches 
will automatically become selected. So I don't have to encapsulate the entire control, I just have to touch part of the control. And again, that is holding the control key and clicking with the left and holding and dragging the left mouse button. All right, next let's talk about how we would do some alignments. Uh, if I've selected multiple controls, and we'll start here with the pump labels across the top. In my right hand bottom corner, once I have selected multiple controls, until I've selected multiple controls, it will not appear. But once I've selected multiple controls, it does appear. You can see there. I have the ability now to use some alignment features. Uh, my alignment features are for horizontal or vertical alignment. So for instance, um, if I use the vertical stack, that will essentially stack my controls vertically on top of each other. If I use the horizontal stack, it will stack them horizontally. And it's queued off of either the uh, far left or the highest of the controls. So now that I've done my horizontal stack, if I click the button again, notice that it increases the padding or the spacing between the controls. And it does that in six pixel intervals. I can do the same thing on my pump labels. If I go too far, I can use the undo. And of course, as mentioned before, it works the same for vertical. And the undo continues to keep track of my work. So this allows me to very quickly start to place items onto my screen and then align them without spending a lot of time and effort in trying to make everything straight or everything uh, stacked properly. Now, additionally, um, I might have a situation where I've aligned things, but I don't have them necessarily justified to one another. So here we'll select all of our pump labels and we'll use the justify controls to align either the vertical top the middle or the bottom. If I select the bottom, it will align all of the controls to the one that is currently the lowest. Now we'll undo. If I select the align middle, it will find the one in the middle and align. So that one aligned to the middle of the group. And if I align top, it will align it to the top of the group. At the same time, I have the ability to align left, center, or right. And so now I can very quickly grab my controls, align them, and finish my design. If I need to resize or move, just like that, I can do it. As always, we invite you to join the Canary community. You can do so by visiting helpcenter.canarylabs.com. And from the community, you can participate in more future coaching sessions. Or additionally, you can watch previous coaching sessions on demand at your own leisure. Thank you so much for attending this session, and we look forward to answering any questions that you may have.
you can send those to us at info at canarylabs.com.